Good morning. This is a wonderful day of celebration of these terrific students in the class of 2019. And we welcome all of you who have come from places near and far. Welcome to University of North Carolina Asheville. We're glad to have you with us today. Will you please remain standing as Claire Hoke will lead us in a singing of America the Beautiful. Claire? skies for amber waves of grain for purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee Thank you, Claire. I am thrilled this morning to welcome you and to join our about-to-be graduates, their families, their friends, the trustees of UNC Asheville, distinguished guests. And we come together today to honor this class, but also to salute our faculty, our staff, and all of our students who have joined together to honor the success and accomplishments of these wonderful students. We also have a number of elected officials here from our legislature and our board of governors. They are from this region and we honor their support for this great university. To the class of 2019, think back a moment ago, and it probably feels like just a moment ago, when you arrived on campus with all of your gear, ready to begin your role, your contributions, and the hard work of being a student here. Now it is commencement. Now this is the beginning of a new phase in your life, a new relationship with the world itself, and of a new and lifelong relationship to this university, your alma mater. Graduates, let's go back again in your mind to the time when you first arrived on campus. You were probably frightened, looking for friends, ready to sign up for the right classes, ready to move into your residence hall. But you were also ready, more than you knew that day, to develop your mind, to learn the joy of intellectual work well done, to have the privilege here of working with our dedicated, tireless, distinguished faculty. You were ready more than you knew to take risks and to venture into classes and topics that mark the flexibility of this terrific academic curriculum as the liberal arts and sciences university of the entire UNC system. Here, you have had the chance to learn the basic marks of a truly educated person critical thinking, knowledge that a better set of questions is always more useful than knowing all the answers, that writing and speaking clearly will be a value in your lifetime in ways you could never have imagined on your first day as a first year student. You've probably here been reminded of the worth of all persons, even those who are very different from yourself or your original life experiences before college. You have come to understand that a variety of different perspectives and talents are needed to solve this world's most difficult problems. In fact, I bet 
that you have found your own talents have grown here to the point that you are much more self-assured and that you realize the value of being resilient in one's life. Finally, graduates, we owe you a debt of gratitude because you have made UNC Asheville better through your service, through your gifts to people in this region and this city, and your gifts to undergraduate research, and the friendships you've made with faculty and staff here. You have found a way to make a difference here, and I have confidence you will take that as you move forward in your lives. At UNC Asheville, we are also fortunate, in addition to our fine students and faculty, to have a terrific board of trustees. These are the unseen folks who allow us to be the best institution that we can possibly be. These are volunteer leaders who bring an array of academic, civic, educational, artistic, and a variety of other talents to us. Students in the class of 2019 our trustees are stewards of this university and its forever perpetuity nature. They are champions and advocates for students every day. It's my privilege to introduce several members of the board who have joined us today. Kenan Briggs, chair of the board, Rick Lutofsky, Sissy Stevens, Karen Brown, Oscar Wong, J.W. Davis, Robbie Russell, King Prather, Bob Long, and our trusted student trustee, Michael Davis. Would you please join me in, in welcoming them now? It is now my pleasure, as we begin our formal ceremony, to invite Kenan Briggs, chair of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, to the podium to bring greetings from the trustees. Thank you. Yes, yes. Good morning, and please be seated. What an absolutely great day to be at the University of North Carolina, Asheville. Chancellor Cable, distinguished members of the platform party, friends and family, it's with immense pride that I take this opportunity to congratulate and address our graduating seniors on behalf of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees. Now I'm speaking directly to the graduates. Graduates, I join thousands of UNC Asheville alumni, this scholarly and stellar faculty and staff, your friends and all the family gathered here today as we are assembled to congratulate you and celebrate you. This is your day on your achievement in completing your degrees. Your experiences at UNC Asheville, long past this fleeting moment, because this is the beginning, will serve you well as you go forward from this place to further education or to the world of work. In just a few moments, you're gonna walk across this platform and receive your degrees, well earned. Degrees that have real value in the world today and in the marketplace. They'll enable you to embrace your future, whatever that future may be, or whatever pathway you may take in life. I'm confident, wholly confident, that you've been strengthened and intellectually strengthened by your investment of time and talent here at UNCA, and have benefited from the, de from the devotion of a learned faculty. This is one of the greatest faculties in the world who put teaching and learning and undergraduate research at the core of everything that they do. You and they together certainly make, uh, are among the states and nations best and make this the most outstanding public liberal arts university in America. But as you leave us and become the newest faces of this great institution to the world, you will demonstrate every day for the rest of your lives the real value that a public liberal arts education has. As a graduate of UNCA, and I mean this most sincerely, and take this for what it is, you will use in your lifetime the critical thinking and problem-solving skills in all that you do in life and that you developed here to improve our society as we know it and the quality of life for those you meet along life's pathway. 
do not take that responsibility lightly. Rather, embrace it, own it. I challenge each of you to make a difference in your communities, in your state, in this nation, and across the world. Once again, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina Asheville, congratulations, graduates, on your tremendous success. We know as trustees that you'll represent this great university with honor in all the work that you do and the many contributions you'll make to humankind. Again, congratulations and thank you. And now it's my privilege to call to the podium Pearl Burris Floyd, who is the Secretary of the UNC Board of Governors. Pearl, would you bring your greetings from the Board of Governors to us today? Thank you for being here. Thank you, Chancellor. Good morning. Let's try that one more time. I'm a Baptist preacher, so if you talk to me, then I won't be up here very long. So let's try it one more time. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the University of North Carolina Board of Governors and the UNC Interim President, Bill Roper, the Chair of the Board, Harry Smith, it is my great pleasure to bring greetings to this faculty, staff, alumni, board of trustees of this great university, members of the platform party, Chancellor Cable, and most of all, the class of 2019, the graduates of this fine institution and their families who have worked so hard to earn this day. Welcome to all of you. Graduates, congratulations. It was quite a few decades ago that I sat in a chair like you all are sitting today with great expectations of a future to come. We are all gathered here today to celebrate what you've achieved and look ahead to the opportunities that await you. These last few years have been both a gift and a test, offering you the chance to read and debate and perform, also discuss at one of the finest liberal arts colleges anywhere in the country. That kind of intense experience asks a lot of you, but you've gotten to a point of no return, and what you have gained is value added. You leave the University of North Carolina in Asheville able to think sharply, to act confidently, and to call upon relationships and skills that will carry you far in a complex and demanding world. A little luck helps too, which is why I made sure to stop by the Rocky statue on my way to campus and give it a little rub. You, you're always, you're already um, had such incredible strokes of good fortune. And that studying alongside of some of the most talented faculty members anywhere in the state, these people have been devoted to you and you to them. And their service in teaching and mentoring will never be forgotten. To recognize that commitment it's my privilege to present this year's Board of Governors Award for Excellence in Teaching, which was established in 1994 to reward great teachers across the university system. The awards are given annually to a tenured faculty member from each of North Carolina's public universities. Following uh, following nominations by a committee of faculty, colleagues, and close review by the Board of Governors, we are happy to announce the University of North Carolina at Asheville's recipient, 
Dr. Amina Batata. <laughs> Chancellor Cable, would you join me at the podium along with Interim Provost Karen Peterson and Dr. Batata? As an associate professor in the Health and Wellness Department, Dr. Patata has worked at UNC Asheville since 2011. Dr. Patata's teaching philosophy is rooted in her belief in the power of making connections with course material, each other, and ourselves. She believes that through these connections, our learning is deeper and longer lasting. One of the great hallmarks of her approach is in conceiving of course-based service learning projects with community partners, which guide students to move from community-engaged data collection and analysis to community-engaged action. With her students, Dr. Patata works with community partners to evaluate health and education programs, to conduct research to support policy advocacy and to implement intervention studies in schools, churches, and other settings. She also researches the contents of foods marketed to children, from kids' meals to food dyes in grocery store products. Dr. Patata approaches her work in and out of the classroom using an equity lens, teaching students about identity, disparities, institutional oppression, racism, the social determinants of health, intended and unintended impacts of policy, among other potentially challenging topics. Many of her courses are or have been designated diversity intensive, and she has actively engaged in promoting equitable opportunities for our students in and out of the classroom. Her students depend, uh, depend on how much her classes inspire them to be better health promoters, but also better human beings and citizens. Before joining UNC Asheville, Dr. Patata was Director of Education Research and Outreach at Sesame Workshop India in New Delhi. And prior to that, she worked at the Center for Science in the Public Interest, CSPI, advocating for limits on junk food marketing to children and for national school nutrition standards. Dr. Batata received her Doctorate of Public Health in Health Communications from, from Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and a Master's of Public Health in Maternal and Child Health with a Certificate in International Health and a Bachelor's of Arts in International Studies with a minor in Chemistry from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Recently, Dr. Patata's teaching was also recognized through the Gulf South Summit Award for Outstanding Faculty Contributions to service learning given to an individual teaching faculty who has demonstrated excellence incorporating service learning pedagogy in the college university classroom. Please join us in congratulating Dr. Amina Patata. Thank you, Governor Burris Floyd. It's such an honor to have you here with us today, and thank you for honoring one of the best among our great faculty. Thank you very much. 
It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Nancy Rupert, Chair and Professor of Education at UNC Asheville. Dr. Rupert was the recipient of the 2018 Distinguished Teaching Award, and she has, therefore, the honor of presenting this year's award. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Graduates, I imagine there was a teacher at some point in your life that made a difference. Perhaps it was a preschool teacher, or an elementary, or perhaps the most important people, those middle school teachers that were in your life. Perhaps it was high school, and even perhaps here. At UNC Asheville, we get the opportunity to celebrate teachers by your nominations and your influence of what has happened in the classroom. For a university whose mission emphasizes exemplary instruction, the 2019 Distinguished Teacher of the Year should come as no surprise. She is an associate professor described as wise, kind, and approachable. A student shared, despite a jam-packed schedule, full course load, and other advisees, our 2019 award recipient always had time to deliver a much-needed pep talk perspective, or to cast a keen eye over a resume or research paper. She is described by colleagues as being a strong advocate with regard to supporting marginalized students and one who works with colleagues to create and implement learning activities as well as learning circles. A student shared this professor was able to create experiential learning in the midst of a primary lecture-based course. I've never known another teacher to be so dedicated to their students' learning and personal growth. It is what we all aspire to. Those of us who have worked with her appreciate her inclusiveness, her willingness to advocate, her good humor, her readiness to share what great teaching looks like, and learning. The next two years, she is taking on a project to integrate teaching, research, and community outreach, and it will include our students here. Please join me in congratulating UNC Asheville's Distinguished Teacher of the Year for 2019, Dr. Evelyn Chang in the Psychology Department. Congratulations, Dr. Chang. We're very proud of you and very glad to have you up here now for the rest of the ceremony. It's also now my honor to introduce the A.C. Reynolds Award and the Thomas D. Reynolds Prize to the graduate who has demonstrated outstanding service to the campus community. This year, we recognize James Smith. James, please stand and be recognized. James, where are you? There you are. James, would you remain standing while I tell the group gathered here a little bit about you, please? I appreciate that. James is a senior chemistry major and environmental studies minor from Asheville. He is being recognized today primarily for his groundbreaking work with the UNC Asheville Divest Coalition, which began in the fall of 2016. He has dedicated huge amounts of time and effort to this initiative over the last three years. As the leader of this initiative, along with a number of other student leaders, he has asked the hard questions of the university. He has tested the practices and assumptions of students and large organizations 
that engage in practices detrimental to Mother Earth and our environment. He believes strongly in the individual's social responsibility to leave the world better than it was when you inherited it. His work and dedication to the Divest Coalition has effect, affected the campus community in several ways. The Better Futures Project. The Sierra Club recognized UNC Asheville as a green college for which he was the major advocate and contributor. James supported and endorsed the clean energy resolution sent to the UNC System Management Company. He coordinated public actions by our students and those in our region for divestment, including a rally on the quad in 2017. He contributed as a provocative thought leader to the Sustainable Investing Working Group of the UNC System, drafting proposals for funding parts of endowments to become invested only in sustainable companies. Presented on multiple occasions to the Endowment Investment Committee, the Faculty Senate, our Sustainability Council, Student Government Association, each and every time, James, you have advocated for clean energy, a sustainable future, and environmental stewardship. He served as an active member as a consultant to Appalachian State on UNC energy system needs. He presented on behalf of UNC Asheville at a conference in San Francisco about his efforts to ask the administration here to adopt sustainable investing. He presented alongside notable international advocates on this topic, including Bill de Blasio, Mayor of New York, Mary Robinson, the President of Ireland, and Bill McKibben, founder of 360.org, which works to avert climate catastrophe for all of us. And finally, James worked at the Collider Center in downtown Asheville as a representative for the student body on the importance of sustainable and affordable living environments and investment practices for the Climate Conference Summit. Through all of these efforts, James, your service to the sustainable future for all of us, and especially those of us who care about this on the UNC Asheville campus, you have always exhibited wisdom, a balance between advocating and student activism, but working for systemic change in responsible ways. And all the while, you have been among our most successful students academically. And if these accomplishments were not enough to warrant recognition as the A.C. Reynolds Award, James also founded a community group called YES. This is made for high school students from every local city and county school. The group aims to empower the future stewards of our environment in the generations coming up behind us. Please join me now in honoring James Smith for all of his leadership and hard work. Thanks, James. Karen Peterson, our interim provost, and Darren Waters, executive director of community engagement, will now present the William and Ida Friday Award and the Manly Wright Award. Thank you, Chancellor. The William, Ida, and William and Ida Friday Award honors the outstanding graduate who serves the larger community. This year, we honor Michael Davis. Michael, please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Michael, a native of Asheville, North Carolina, is a senior in management, a management major at UNC Asheville. From the time that Michael started at UNC Asheville as a freshman, he has worked tirelessly at what he would call getting involved in the campus community and the community at large. As an Asheville native, Michael understood the larger community and immediately began working to make broader connections with his peers on campus and the needs of his hometown. 
He began with on-campus clubs and organizations, volunteer opportunities, and specific projects focused events and programs. As student body president in his senior year, he has utilized his position to advocate for the needs of students in meaningful ways. His work over the, four, over the four years during his tenure is impossible to catalog in totality, but below are a few specific examples of how his efforts have positively impacted the Asheville community and the campus. Asheville City Youth Leadership Award, UNC System Committee, Safety Committee, U, Western North Carolina's Martin Luther King Prayer Breakfast Committee, Hillcrest Learning Center Volunteer, key player in bringing former vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine to campus and introducing him. Worked to expand community outreach by teaming up with alumni to help Buncombe County middle schools create their own constitutions to form their own student government association, a much needed project. He has served as SGA president, UNC Asheville board member, student commencement speaker, student assistant to the chancellor, chancellor search committee, executive, executive of diversity inclusion on SGA, orientation leader, avid peer mentor program, and black student association. And in, while doing all of this, he has gotten a, deg a degree. Michael has received numerous local awards, including, as I mentioned earlier, the City of Asheville Youth Leadership Award, in addition to be being the 2018-2019 student body president, Michael serves on the UNC System Safety Committee and works for the Chancellor's Office and Department of Public Safety. I am pleased to recognize Michael Davis as this year's recipient of the William and Ida Friday Award. Congratulations, Michael. The Manley Wright Award is presented annually to the graduate who ranks first in scholarship. By tradition, the Manley Wright Award recipient will be the last student to receive their degree, and it will be presented on a silver platter. Seriously. Blanton Gillespie is an exceptional student, having earned an overall GPA of 3.996 here at UNC Asheville as a chemistry major and a neuroscience minor. <laughs> Blanton's record of scholarship is nearly flawless, but he is not merely earning top scores. He is consistently mastering concepts and material at a level that exceeds even other top achievers in his courses. This was apparent for both his chemistry and neuroscience classes, but also for courses outside of his major. Faculty nominating Blanton noted that he has an exceptional intellectual curiosity, a strongly rooted drive to understand concepts at the deepest possible level. Blanton has a remarkable set of achievements here at UNC Asheville. A scholar athlete, he has competed for four years for the cross country and track and field teams, beginning many mornings at dawn with 10 mile training runs. He is a three time recipient of the Big South Scholar Athlete of the Year. In 2018, he was awarded a Goldwater Scholarship, one of the most prestigious undergraduate scholarships awarded in the natural sciences. Blanton's research has been nothing sort short of prodigious. He has already published three papers in the well-known Journal of Physical Chemistry and will be submitting a fourth manuscript shortly. In each of the JPC, sorry, Journal of Physical Chemistry, Blanton's papers were the only ones from an undergraduate institution. In 2017, he received the Wiley Outstanding Undergraduate Research Award at the Nat Nat 
National Meaning of Meeting of the American Chemical Society for his presentation titled Computa Computational Investigations of an Unusual Unimolecular Decomposition Pathway. In 2017, he received a summer research fellowship from NASA based on a proposal he wrote for his research. He was awarded a second NASA fellowship the following year. Blanton plans to study medicine. He earned um, in the 99th, 99th percentile on the MCAT exam, the highest score that Dr. Bert Holmes has seen in 45 years of teaching. It's a big deal. Blanton intends to practice rural medicine in underserved Western North Carolina communities. We are so pleased to have him. So congratulations, Blanton, and he is our speaker for today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, each of us here has had a vastly different experience during our time at Asheville. And while each of our experiences here have been different, I believe there are at least two common themes that most of us have learned and developed while we've been here. First off, it's a wonderful achievement for us to be here today, so we should all be proud of what we have accomplished. But more importantly, I think we should be thankful for those who have supported us along the way. One of those themes I've learned above all else here is that nobody ever accomplishes anything truly on their own. All of us have relied on another person at some point in our lives that has shaped and guided us in ways we sometimes fail to recognize and appreciate. For that reason, I would like to take this time to thank those that have led me here. To my friends who've been there for me every day, thank you. To my family, especially my parents, Philip and Tracy Gillespie, who've been there for me my whole life, Thank you. <laughs> to my teachers and professors, coaches, mentors and advisors, past and present, for all the work you've put in to make the life of someone like me and the many others you've touched better, thank you. To the community members with whom I've interacted and to those with whom I haven't but who have worked to improve the conditions for those less fortunate in our community and others, thank you. To the love of my life, my fiance, Katie Brown, who has inspired me to be a better person. Thank you. And to anyone else uh, I've met along the way, for the little ways in which you've shaped me, thank you. Thank you for supporting me unconditionally, for building up my sense of self and agency in the world. And I'd especially like to mention um, and thank Drs. Holmes and Hurd, along with the rest of the chemistry department, who have all worked constantly to support the students who have come through the department uh, because they have had probably the biggest impact directly on me being here now. And to all of you who are too many to name, it's because of all of you that I have the privilege of standing here today, so thank you. And if I can leave you all here with anything useful today, I would implore you to thank all of those around you who have offered you support. Along with that, I think the other thing all of us have learned here is that we have the ability to make a difference in the world. And one of the best ways we can do that is by making a difference in our own communities. Asheville has been a special place for many of us in that it has taught us these lessons or allowed us to further develop these goals. I hadn't always wanted to come here, and don't get me wrong, I couldn't be happier now, but uh, turns out that once in a while you get shown the light in the strangest of places if you look at it right. And again, I'm thankful to those who have supported this learning environment that not only allows all of us to focus on what we want, but educates us as human beings who can act as true citizens of our communities. I am nothing more than an example of a story in which all of the privileges were afforded to me, and I thank the grace that led me here in order to learn these lessons. It is my dream as I leave here today to work towards a world in which this is the case for every story, 
and I want to do that by working to improve the lives of those around me in some place that needs it most. And I hope you all will join me. During my time in high school, I shadowed at a pediatrics clinic where I had an experience with a mother that has stuck with me. She said to me, everyone needs someone who thinks they are the greatest thing to ever happen to them. As we all leave here today, let's challenge ourselves to thank those in our lives who treat us like we are the greatest thing that ever happened to them and to work towards a world in which everyone has someone who treats them this way. Good luck to you all in whatever it is that may come next for you, and thank you for listening. Congratulations, Blanton, and how privileged and honored we are that you're going to stay around in the Asheville vicinity. Thank you for bringing that talent and keeping it here. It's now my distinct honor to present the UNC Asheville Chancellor's Medallion to our commencement speaker, Paula Kerger. Paula is the President and Chief Executive Officer of PBS, the nation's largest non commuter uh, excuse me, non-commercial media organization with nearly 350 member stations throughout the country. Paula joined PBS as its president in March of 2006 and is the longest serving president and CEO in PBS history. Since Paula Kerger's arrival, PBS has consistently presented high quality, groundbreaking content that delivers on the founding mission of public television to educate, to inspire, to entertain, and inform the American people. Among her accomplishments are the pop culture phenomenon Downton Abbey on Masterpiece, all of Ken Burns and Lynn Novick's work, most recently the Vietnam War and country music as the next major production the documentary Hamilton's America about the smash Broadway hit that teaches us all the fundamental importance of our democracy. Freedom Riders on American Experience and the award-winning children's programs, for example, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. In the past year, PBS and its producing partners have been recognized with several prestigious honors, including six Peabody Awards for Excellence in Programming, four Alfred I. DuPont Columbia University Awards, and News and Documentary Emmy Awards more than any other television network in the nation. Paula Kerger has made particularly strong commitments to PBS work with children's education. She led the historic launch of PBS Kids 24-7, broadcast and the streaming channel ensuring that PBS educational programming can reach children anytime and anywhere through local stations. In addition, Kerger oversaw the development of PBS learning media, which empowers teachers across America through curriculum design to engage and inspire their students with high quality digital content. Ms. Kerger also serves as president of the PBS Foundation, an independent organization that uh, gathers private sector funding. This is a significant source of revenue for new PB PBS projects. Ms. Per Kerger is regularly included in the Hollywood Reporter's 100 Women of Entertainment Power in America, an annual survey of the nation's top women executives in media as well as Washington Magazine's Most Powerful Woman in Washington. She's been honored with the Woman of Achievement Award for the Women in Development from New York City, the National Education Friend of Education Award, the ProMax BNC Multi-Channel News Brand Builder Award, and in 2017, she received the Advancing American Democracy Award from the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site. She received her bachelor's degree from the University of Baltimore, where she currently serves on the Merrick School of Business Dean's Advisory Council. She also holds honorary degrees from Washington University in St. Louis, Allegheny College, and Northeastern University. 
She is a member of the International Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, the Meredith Corporation's Board of Directors, and she chairs the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of Natural History. Paula, will you please join me and Ken and Briggs for the presentation of the Chancellor's Medallion. The Chancellor's Medallion at UNC Asheville is the university's highest academic and leadership distinction, given to individuals who demonstrate through hard work, principled leadership, the highest commitment to community service, national leadership, and the enhancement of this university. Past recipients include AB Tech President Emeritus K. Ray Bailey, university leaders Ruth and Luther Barnhart, Educator Lynn Brown, founding director of the College for Seniors at OLLI, Francis Delaney, uh, posthumously the first African-American uh, graduate from UNC Asheville. Also journalist Gordon Greenwood, class of 30, who operated the Black Mountain News for decades. Philanthropist Adelaide Daniels Key, a guiding force in the creation of the Rathbun Center. And Carl Strauss, one of the founders of the Asheville Legal Aid Society. Paula, you were in very good company. It is now my honor to present you with the UNC Asheville Chancellor's Medallion for your leadership, hard work, and principled service to this nation. Congratulations. Oh my, it is so wonderful to be here. I wish you could all stand on this stage and look across this beautiful space and see so many shining faces. Thank you, Dr. Cable, the faculty, family, friends, and class of 2019. And I especially want to say to the mothers and grandmothers that are here today, what an amazing way to celebrate Mother's Day. Thank you to you all for all that you've done to make sure that every student walking across this stage today does so with the support and love. Thank you to the fathers and siblings and friends and everyone that has enabled this class. I'm delighted to be here on this special occasion and I am truly humbled to receive this award from UNC Asheville, this great institution for liberal arts. And it is especially meaningful for me to participate today on the stage with my very dear friend, Nancy Cable, who is gonna lead this organization to great heights. And I'm gonna be cheering alongside, watching everything that she and the talented staff and faculty are able to achieve here. Congratulations, Nancy. You know, if anyone is cynical about the future, I always suggest that they attend a college graduation. It is impossible to look across a room like this and not feel tremendous hope and optimism, which is exactly what I'm feeling right now. To the graduating Bulldogs, I want to add my congratulations on a job well done. You've arrived here after lots of hard work, sleepless nights cramming for exams. I don't even want to think if you slept at all. Um, and no doubt heavy doses of caffeine. But you've gotten to this place, and I want to echo Blanton's comments, you've gotten to this place with the love and support and encouragement of friends and family. So many of you are here in this room today. Today is a day for celebration and reflection on your time here at UNC Asheville, but it's also an opportunity to look forward to the journey that awaits you beyond this beautiful campus. In the great tradition of liberal arts graduates, you leave here headed in different directions, both in your career pursuits, as well as all the places that you'll call your next home, from Asheville to Boston and all the way to Glasgow. When you walk across this stage today, you'll do so with a mix of pride, excitement, maybe a little fear, all wrapped up together. I can relate because I vividly recall sitting in your seat a few years ago, maybe more than a few years ago, 
I felt an enormous sense of pressure graduating alongside friends who seemed so certain of their path when I had no clue of my next step. We didn't have emojis back then, but if we did, I would have used the grimace face, you know, the one that's bracing for impact. <laughs> if you're worried that you haven't mapped out your whole career, my message to you is actually pretty simple. It's gonna be just fine. The truth is, very few people have it figured out, and anyone who thinks that they have it, please know that you're only closing yourselves off to the possibility of a meaningful and purpose-filled life. Never in a million years did I imagine that my college days would eventually lead me to PBS and a position that would become my dream job. You see, my path did not follow a linear progression. I arrived at school with an interest in science, something that I still have, and I intended to become a doctor until I flunked out of organic chemistry. <laughs> I think there's a few of you in the room, too. I've come to understand that that is, in fact, the great separator. With that dream quashed, I decided to dive into the humanities, as this was something that was very dear to my heart. I loved those classes, which fired a lifelong passion, particularly for the arts and literature. But I still wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life, so I took yet another turn, picked up a few more courses in business, actually, and ultimately, that's how I landed my degree. But as I look back, I think, actually, it was the science and humanities courses that taught me the most of what I later found out to be the core for whatever success I have managed in both my profession and also in my life. Of course, I graduated before the time of LinkedIn and Indeed.com, so when I started my career path, I actually skimmed the classifieds in the newspaper, and that's, in fact, by serendipity, how I found my first job working for UNICEF. It was there that I discovered my North Star, a passion for nonprofit work and a desire to make a difference. That job led me to International House and the Metropolitan Opera. I was not a singer, by the way, as you can tell from my voice. And I eventually ended up at Channel 13 WNET in New York, which is our public television station there. I loved that job. I thought that that's where, what, where I would be for the rest of my life. But 14 years ago, I found myself in front of the PBS board interviewing for my current position, and I couldn't help but marvel at the unexpected series of events that led me there. In hindsight, I could see that my college experience helped to prepare me for the twists and turns of my career because it exposed me to different perspectives and expanded my worldview, which is exactly what the liberal arts do so beautifully. Albert Einstein once said, I can never teach my pupils. I only provide the conditions in which they can learn. And UNC Asheville has provided the conditions, training you to ask the right questions and to question the status quo, showing you that it's OK to turn left when everyone else is turning right, demonstrating the power of making a leap when the easiest choice is to stand still, and affirming that learning is not a four-year commitment but rather a lifelong endeavor. This is perhaps the greatest gift of the liberal arts experience, knowing that your education does not end here, rather, it begins here. We live in a world in which change is the only constant, a world that requires constant adaptation and evolution. Certainly, that's true in my line of work. When I joined PBS, the media industry looked profoundly different than it does today, and some of the most interesting jobs in media didn't exist. For some perspective, in 2006, the big television news was that iTunes was going to offer episodes of Desperate Housewives for $1.99, which seemed crazy. But that actually turned out to be a harbinger for the digital revolution, which has forever changed the way that we consume media. As I consider the leaders who thrive in the face of such transformational change, the common thread among them is a relentless pursuit of knowledge and a commitment to lifelong learning. While certain types of work may become obsolete, there are no limits for intellectual rigor and a curious mind. The jobs of tomorrow, whether in technology or business, medicine or education, will require people who think critically and creatively, problem solvers who tackle the unknown opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. These are the skills that you've been honing right here. 
The graduates here today have a solid foundation from which to forge your own paths. You've proven that you're smart and creative and resilient. And you've been given extraordinary tools that will help you find your success in life as well as in your career. Regardless of your field of activity and wherever your adventure may take you, I have one piece of advice. I encourage you to find your authentic voice, the one that whispers to you about what you were put on this earth to do, the voice that is innately and inherently yours, not an imitation of someone else. And if it doesn't come to you immediately, don't worry, it'll happen as long as you push yourself out of your comfort zone, both professionally and personally, seek out mentors who encourage and inspire you, and pay attention to the things that truly make you sing. And when you find your voice, use it. Not just for the advancement of your career, but for the betterment of your community. During your time here at UNC Asheville, you've already learned the most important and valuable lesson in life all that we accomplish, as well as the person that we become, tie back to the simple fact that we are interconnected and interdependent. A few weeks ago, we saw the community and the power of that at your sister school, UNC Charlotte. In the wake of unspeakable loss, students, faculty, and community leaders came together. Using your voice to make a difference is something that has been instilled in this graduating class. It has been a part of your experience ever since you set foot on this campus. And those lessons of engagement and service are more important than ever before. I don't need to outline for you the challenges facing our world, and I'm certainly not here to suggest the issue or the cause to which you should lend your energy. My only ask is that you stay involved and continue to lead in with empathy and purpose. I can see great fire and determination in your generation. You've already begun to leave your mark on the world, shaking things up, raising your voices, and banding together to make change happen. You are also the most connected generation in history using social media and technology to engage with one another and with the broader world. Those points of connection are so incredibly important because I believe that we will only overcome the challenges before us if we face them together. And we will only overcome our divisions if we move from a place of I and me to us and we. For the strength of our society does not rise or fall with any one person, nor any one piece of legislation, nor any institution. Rather, it requires all of us to come together to build the communities in which we want to live. Looking across this crowd, I am filled with tremendous hope as you are the leaders who will take us to this place that we aspire to be. I'm gonna leave you with one last thought. This summer, we'll celebrate the 50th anniversary of the moonshot and the landing on the moon. It was an improbable and an impossible feat to think that we could put a person on the face of the moon. It was done with great whisk, with a huge collaborative effort of people with many different backgrounds and experiences coming together. And it, we did this effort without really knowing for sure that it was gonna work and the world was watching. We came together, we came together as a country and we came together as a world. And through that effort, we created technology that has changed everything that we know today, including the cell phones, which I hope are still in your pocket and that you're not looking at right now. <laughs> it's time for another moonshot moment. There is a great deal resting on your shoulders. You are the ones to lead us forward. And remember, as you do so, life is about the journey and not the destination. Cherish every moment along the way and remember that you will always be part of this community wherever you go. Carry it forward proudly and lead us into the great future that I know that you will do. The future is yours. Our country's future is yours. And I wish you great success because we're counting on you. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2019.
Paula, thank you for your remarks. What an honor it is to have you with us. And students and the class of 2019 carry those words with you in your heart and in your mind as you go forward from your alma mater. It is my pleasure now to introduce our interim provost, Dr. Karen Peterson. I cannot do so without telling you what an honor it has been to work with her over the last nine months as she served so capably and tirelessly in this role as our interim provost. I thank you personally and professionally for everything that you've done. Thank you very much. Since 1991, UNC Asheville has awarded a master's degree in the liberal arts, a unique offering in higher education. The interdisciplinary Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences program challenges students to explore the interconnectedness of the human condition. From arts and humanities to the natural and social sciences, the MLAS degree is an extraordinary and important component of UNC Asheville's liberal arts mission. Will the candidate for the Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences degree please come forward? <clears throat> Madeline Alexandra Petrovich. Chancellor Cable, this student has completed all of the requirements for the master's degree and has been so certified by the faculty and the registrar. Madeline, in recognition of your successful completion of this course of study and your fulfillment of requirements, and by a vote of the university faculty and approval of the Board of Trustees and the concurrence of the Board of Governors, by, the virtue, by virtue of the authority vested in me and these boards from the state of North Carolina, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences. You've come forward and received your degree. Congratulations. Will all of the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? <laughs> Chancellor Cable, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degree and have been endorsed by the faculty and the registrar. I present them to you for the awarding of degrees. Class of 2019, my first class, I am so proud of you. In recognition of your successful completion of the course of study indicated and your fulfillment of requirements by the vote of the university faculty, the approval of the Board of Trustees, and the concurrence of our Board of Governors, and by the virtue of the authority vested in me by these boards and the state of North Carolina, I am honored to confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, and Bachelor of Science. You may now take your seat and prepare to receive your degrees. Congratulations. Dusty Glenn Albinger. Elijah Malik Alexander. Franklin Benjamin Allen. Leland James Allen. Cameron Robert Allison. Yeah. 
Ellen Greer Amato. Spencer Thomas Anderson, summa cum laude. Kamani Samadi Anderson. Rachel Marie Anderson. <laughs> Devin Page Andrews, cum laude. <laughs> Maggie Marie Antaramian. Kathleen Elizabeth Austin. Damon Cole Badgett. Brooklyn Marie Baker. Henry Lewis Baldwin. Jennifer Nicole Barnes, magna cum laude. Hadas Clementine Barone, magna cum laude. Matthew Benjamin Barrera, cum laude. Shelby Nicole Beard. Samantha Tyler Beauregard, magna cum laude. Aaron Cameron Bello. Alessandro Benavides Nazario, cum laude. Taylor Walsh Byra, magna cum laude. Michaela Leone Bivens. <laughs> Jacob Wyatt Blanchett, cum laude. <laughs> Caroline Elizabeth Bloom. <laughs> Christopher Ryan Bobbitt. Brent Ryan Bomer. Landry Philip Bone. Andrew Wylam Bolt. Christopher Omar Bonilla, cum laude. Rachel, Rachel Maria Boyle. Emma Jean Brasher. Logan Conrad Branham. Megan Jean Brewer. Jeremy David Briggs. Gabrielle Maria Broadman. Cassidy Logan Bronack, cum laude. Amanda Jean Brooke. Abigail Marie Brown, magna cum laude. Amy Marcita Brown, summa cum laude. Deanna Lynn Brown.
John Neely Gilbert Brown. William Wesley Bufkin, cum laude. Lauren Lee Bulla, magna cum laude. Shelby Cheyenne Burleson. Charles McNeil Burris. Noelle Elizabeth Busk, summa cum laude. Jessa Victoria Butterfield. Alpha Odalis Cardenas. Levi Mason Carr. Abigail Louise Casario, summa cum laude. Joseph Julius Caesar. Alexandra Nicole Chasen. Sky Catherine Chavis. Davi N. Cheshire, cum laude. Corey Lee Childers. Nicholas Robert Chepka. Teresa Nicole Church, magna cum laude. Isabella Rose Ciccone. Eric Richard Cusio. Kirsten Phoebe Clower. Casey Colleen Clennon. Jesse Marie Clodfelter. Yeah. Ellie Lauren Kolk, summa cum laude. Yeah. Elizabeth Grace Conti. Yeah. Robert Lewis Conyers III. Alicia Marie Cook. Catherine. Catherine Brooks Coglin. Nicole Margaret Crane. Maddox Daly Croom. <laughs> Dylan Wesley Crow. <laughs> Brian James Croymans. <laughs> Tana Story Curry, cum laude. Winston Anderson Cutshaw. Paris Nichelle Davis. Nathaniel Zachary Dean. Nicole Ray DeFeo, cum laude. Mika Sapphire Dickinson. Woo! 
Robert David Dobbs. Fallon Martha Donahue. Kyla Nicole Ducksworth. Donovan Christian Duga. Hannah Michelle Earnhardt. Teresa Edwards Capen, magna cum laude. Daniela Ruslanovna Emilianova. Robert? John Escobar. Gabrielle Consuelo Esteva. Rosa Linda Fallon, cum laude. Madeline Caroline Finley, magna cum laude. William Smith Fisher, cum laude. Jennifer Lynn Floyd, cum laude. Amanda Noel Four. Cara Amira Forbes, magna cum laude. Hannah Marie Francisco. Shauna Marie Franklin, cum laude. Jonathan Paul Fries. Andrew John Friedholm. Morgan Hanna Fuller, summa cum laude. Lizette Frazier Gallagher, summa cum laude. Dylan Forrest Gamble, summa cum laude. Melchor Gomez Correa. Rebecca Cooper Gaskins. Liam Philip Gator. Cassandra Ray Glace. Bjorn Paris Goler Hagood. Javier Evian Gomez. Noah August Martin Good. <laughs> Jacob Austin Gortney. <laughs> Tyler Joseph Grumman. Danielle Marie Gwynn, no, not you. <laughs> Lydia Jane Guaitney. <laughs> Margaret Reagan Haddock. <laughs> Frederick Carson Hager. Francis Elizabeth Homburger. (laughs) 
Rihanna Paula Hammond, magna cum laude. Brandon Alexander Hankey. Marcian Knight Hahnemann. Benjamin Irving Hardin. Malik Cahill Hargett. Watson Bryant Harlan. Connor, Connor Ann Harmsworth. Tuscan Kane Harrington. Julie London Hart. Amber Dawn Housley, magna cum laude. Sydney Deanna Hayes, summa cum laude. Nina Renee Hendrickson, magna cum laude. Paige Michelle Henley. Elise Helen Holcomb. Lisey Annette Holland. Sarah Elizabeth Hollowell, summa cum laude. Jamie Yedlika Havas. Emma Lynn Hall. Sloan Alexandra Hunt, magna cum laude. Corinne Kiera Johnson, cum laude. Lauren Kai Johnson. Rachel Leanne Jones, summa cum laude. Savannah Grace Jones. Savannah Lee Jones. Emily Grace Jordan. Trey Rowan Jordan, cum laude. Katharina Elizabeth Young. Rachel Ann Karpinski, cum laude. Emma Elizabeth Karpowitz. Caroline Rose Kelly, cum laude. Shen Elise Kennedy. Alexander Mark Kessel. Sydney Kali Khan. Daniel Paul King. Vinay Nate King. Leah Gabrielle Kirk. Emily Jane Kozesnik. Allison Whitney Laidlaw. Nicholas Earl Lanier.
Elijah James LaPlante. Lily Worth Laramie, magna cum laude. Alexandria Jordan Ledbetter. Hannah Michelle Ledford, magna cum laude. Mariah Rakal Lee. Bonita Denise Lewis. Ashley Brooke Lilly. Savannah Ray Lloyd. Kaylin Nicole Loggins. Cassandra Renee Long. Changyi Adam Lohr. Jordan Chukwa Lohr. Nell McLaren McCarty. Matthew R. Maffei. Kelsey Maldonado. Roger Bainbridge Minipenny. Alyssa Fay Morescalco. Almost. Rebecca McKenzie Martin. Elena Simone Masanto, cum laude. Jessica J. May, magna cum laude. Anina Celeste McRae. James Henry McCannon. Patrick McGrady. Eleanor Deschamp McKeon. Catherine Danielle Medlin. Matisse Kaiko Malosh. Cum laude. Alyssa Sarah Meltzer. Spencer James Merrill. Gabrielle Maya Metzger, cum laude. Gabriella Christina Maletti. Lindsay Aaron Miller, cum laude. Brandon Christopher Millington. Joe Franklin Mitchell. Benjamin Carl Monigold, cum laude. Hannah Rachel Morrow. Lance Sheldon Morcell, cum laude. Jackson Henry Myers. Amanda Ann Nail. Joseph Aaron Nasser.
Sydney Renee Naslu, magna cum laude. John Taylor Nelson. Emma Kristen Abigail Nodine. Samuel Grayson Novicki. Ryan J. Oliva. Taya Kaliana Overholt. Samuel Landon Packard, cum laude. Brett Gregory Palmer, cum laude. Triana Rochelle Parker. Mackenzie Rose Patak. Kelly Ann Payne. Jerry Roland Singleton Kohler, summa cum laude. Alexander Evan Perkins. Bridget Marissa Perot. Carly Jennifer Perry. Madeline Elizabeth Pesch, cum laude. Lane Bennett Pierce. Michael Anthony Plower, magna cum laude. Tarina Catherine Plyler. Ajani Nika Frazier Purnell, cum laude. Vinat Andoni Quartararo. Lauren Page Ray. Hannah Catherine Reese. <laughs> Megan Elizabeth Rhine, magna cum laude. Anicia Junette Rogers, cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Marie Rossetti. Julia Raven Sacco, magna cum laude. Victoria Elise Santoyo. Eric William Shrek. Carolyn Augusta Schweiss, summa cum laude. Savannah Ray Sievers, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Corinne Siegel, magna cum laude. Lydia Ann Sangas, magna cum laude. Tiziana Page Severse, summa cum laude. Sarah Lillian Shadburn. Grace Carol Sedaris. Grace Carol Siplon, magna cum laude. Freeman John Slaughter, cum laude. 
Juliana Elise Slocum. Caitlin Desiree Smith, summa cum laude. Sarah Susanna Emily Sneed. Nicholas McKenna Snipes, summa cum laude. Casey Lynn Sorrell. Rihanna Michelle Spate, magna cum laude. Kevin Wayne Stallings. Mary Annie Lee Stapleton, cum laude. Zachary John Stewart, summa cum laude. Daniel Raymond Suber. Aiden Michael Sullivan. Melissa Margaret Sullivan. Jacqueline Swartz, cum laude. Allison Tyler Taylor. Kayla Nicole Taylor. Virginia Grace Taylor, cum laude. Michaela Catherine Teeter, cum laude. Adam Wyman Thomas. Michael Joseph Thompson. <laughs> Stephanie Grace Todd. <laughs> Benjamin Joseph, Joseph Tobe. <laughs> Dora Lizette Tover. Raina Sharon Trent, magna cum laude. Michelle Ariana Trozak, magna cum laude. Jorge Eduardo Tudevin. Michael Aston Valco. Alexandria Shea Van Dyke, magna cum laude. Elise Marie Van Gilder, summa cum laude. Kylie Rosa Verbeest. Rebecca Brooke Vines. Melanie Walker Walsh, magna cum laude. Jordan Melinda Washington, cum laude. Avery Gage Waters. Lauren Olivia Weber. Dylan Taylor Weinert. <laughs> Ramey Nix Wellum, cum laude. Aaron O'Leary Whitlock. Colin O'Kelly Wilkins. Caitlin Louise Williams. 
Mary Elizabeth Xenia Williams. Caitlin Elizabeth Wilson. Gabrielle Antoinette Walford, summa cum laude. Chloe Ann Workman. Noah Dale Worth, cum laude. Cindy Lolly Zhang. Amanda Elizabeth Yonani. Mario Viviane, Viviano Zaganti. Talon Robert Zimmerman. Madison Elizabeth Zybert. and the Bachelor of Fine Arts, Garen Boyce Chesson. <laughs> Michaela Elaine Darnell, summa cum laude. <laughs> Jeb Walker Hedgecock, cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Anthony Mercer. Jason Albert Rafferty, cum laude. Mary Beth Steinbrecher. William McCall Younts. And the Bachelor of Science in Engineering, a degree awarded jointly by UNC Asheville and North Carolina State University. Matthew Jordan Bonner. John Barrett Cheesebro Jr. Nathan Thomas Connor. Cannon Mark Dillon. Jordan Michael Allege. Catherine Renee France. Kyle West Gardner. James Gordon Hall III. Joshua Hayden Hall. Jeffrey Stephen Hay. Kyle James Jastrom. Tyler Sean Knepp. Matthew Michael Linford. Derek Colton McMurray. Austin Gregory Morgan. William Orville Myers IV. Michael Sergi Nimshon. Thomas Richard Nolte. Nikolay Yurevich Pinkov. John Marshall Powell. Omar Ernesto Prestal. Thurman Lee Ritchie II. Benjamin, Benjamin David Thomas. Justin David Turner. 
Paul A. Walczak. Kyle J. Wertheim. Ashley Marie Young. And now for the Bachelor of Science. Taylor Marie Ackley. Amanda Carolina Anaya. Emily Grace Anderson. Jacob Glenn Anderson. Kristen Danielle Anderson, cum laude. Sitha Arandati. Allison Leanne Bashford. <laughs> Troy Daniel Beatty. <laughs> Janie Elizabeth Beck. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Benison. <laughs> Henry Jennings Billington. Nicole Caitlin Black, magna cum laude. Chelsea Lace Bond. Shannon Bonomi. Anna C. Boatnar. Ashley Allison Brandon. Alexis Louise Brandt. <laughs> Catherine Kelly Braswell. <laughs> Benjamin Philip Breakstone, cum laude. <laughs> Madison Grace Bristow. McKenna Lee Bristow. <laughs> Catherine Malloy Brown, cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Rose Bruckner. <laughs> Samuel Polite Burke. Gage Veron Kadawas. Jordan James Carr. Christopher Lee Carter, cum laude. Emma McHale Castle, magna cum laude. Edward Andreevich Cherno. Chelsea Elizabeth Childers, magna cum laude. Aiden Taylor Chisholm. Amy Clark. Callie Jo Klontz, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kelly Ann Coleman. <laughs> Mara Kane Coolboss, summa cum laude. <laughs> Olivia Lorene Cox. <laughs> Oliver Jack Cole. Joshua Allen Davis, cum laude.
Michael David Davis. Patrick Emmett David. Haley Marie Deese. Madeline Nicole DeHuda, cum laude. Sonora Eugenia Danook, magna cum laude. Misha Lee Derrico. Julia Elizabeth Diesel, summa cum laude. Finn Ellis Digman, cum laude. Michaela Gajan Jude Dodd. Madison Nicole Donlin. Alice Morris Donnelly, magna cum laude. Cody James Dubois. Mayan Eatery. Deanna Marie Elio, magna cum laude. Morgan Ray Elkins. Timothy Austin Farr. Benjamin Lester Fanati. Kelly Elaine Fisher. Louise Aaron Fisher. Sarah Elizabeth Fleischer. Guy Alexander Flint. Michael William Founds, cum laude. You are not, okay. Deladia Shakur Frank. Almost. Jacob Clifford Frizzell. Donovan, Donovan Dequan Gilmore. Samantha Summer Giordano. Kiela Noel Hami Goins. Nathaniel David Griffith. Hope Meinhart Hagen. Matthew Travis Hagen. Kelly Ann Hamilton. Jessica Rose Hanley. Lauren Elizabeth Hansen. Vishana Carey Haryanan. Kevil George Roy Harris. Hannah Gabrielle Harris Hines, cum laude. Jeremy Lane Harvell. Betsy Tanner Helms.
Alexis Lillian Marie Herring. Karis Rainey Hill. Eva Hill. Sarah Grace Hiller, summa cum laude. Claire Renee Hoke. John Allen Hollifield. Brianna Camille Holloway. Alyssa Lane Hurley. Kaysen Elizabeth Hussey. Gabrielle Elizabeth Iorio. Samuel Keith James, summa cum laude. Isabella Mariah Javins. Trevor Charles Jenkins, magna cum laude. Julian Daniel Johnson. Leah Kathleen Johnston. McKenna Ray Jolly. Brantley Michelle Junaleska. Kira Marie Candle. Sarah Emily Kane. Caitlin Marie Kelly. Megan Bonnie Klein. Christopher Allen Nolman, cum laude. Liana Rose Kolodich, summa cum laude. Taylor Ray Komenek. Allison Colleen Co-Roots. Joseph Anthony Lacosto. Zachary David Lappy, magna cum laude. Sean Thomas Laughlin. Samuel Maurice Laverdeer. Russell Tyler Ledford. Zoe Constantina Lewis. Devin Patrick Lindbergh. Kira Lindelof, magna cum laude. Timothy Michael Littlejohn. Meredith Gail Long. Kristen Deborah Lowe, cum laude. Jeremiah Dalton Luther, cum laude. Morgan Elizabeth McDonald. Jacob Hunter Madole. John Michael Mann. Elizabeth Corbett Mayar, cum laude. Matthew Justin Manning. Douglas James March. 
Reed Killian Marsh. Cassidy Nicole Martin. Eric Martinez. Melissa Martinez. Sean Michael Matthews, summa cum laude. Mary Ashley McCrory. Stephanie Constance McDaniel, magna cum laude. Nicole Jean McDonald. Ian James McDonald. Jacob Daniel McElroy. Christopher Khalil McCoy. Nicholas Aaron McMahon, magna cum laude. Sydney June Meadows. Alyssa Summer Melton, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Nicole Mendez. Asante Amir Monogamy. Gerardo Alejandro Moreno. Jacob Aaron Mor Morgan. Taylor Lance Morgan. Connor John Mulderig. Mackenzie Lynn Mall. Cressy Nyingendo Muraguru. Rex Muset Blumenthal. Emma Mackenzie Nelson. Joel Mauricio Navarez. Sophia Nadina Nicolella. Quentin Andrew Northcutt. Alana Martin Nunn. Adam Davidson Ornelas. Carmine Anthony Pagano the fourth. Christopher Robert Pant. Michael Patrick Parker. Henry James Patton. Sean Miguel Penn. Colin David Perry. <laughs> Kelly Nicole Petrosky. Emily Rose Phillips. James Freeman Porch. Yenny Prom. Shelby Nicole Putnam. Maheen Sandy Quach, cum laude. Jocelyn Eliana Rosas.
Hannah Louise Rosenbaum, cum laude. Abigail Lee Rosendale, cum laude. Katherine Elizabeth Roth Skinner. Morgan Jean Rulovich. Brian Michael Rumsey, magna cum laude. Ashley Noel Saul. Raquel Christina Sanchez. Conrad Gaylord Sanders. Nicholas Sam Sanderson. Mac Frederick Childer. Quinn Regina Schneider, summa cum laude. Lily Conchak Quap Sherpamo. Kylie Blair Shipley. Savannah Heather Schof. Dylan Alexander Sikora. James Martin Smith. Whisper Zayoki Marie Smith, summa cum laude. Jolena Nicole Smith Gerty. Matthew Richard Smykowski, cum laude. Roxanne Juno Snyder. Caitlin Ray Snyder. Logan McKenzie Spainauer. Michaela Kathleen Spilisi. Priscilla Eden Squirrel. Leanna Catherine Stakowitz. Nicholas Nolan Stevens, summa cum laude. Ellet Claire Stone, cum laude. Shelby Elizabeth Stovall. Ashley Elizabeth Stradford. Hannah Renee Stewart. Brennan Avery Sullivan. Mazzy Elise Sullivan. Anna V. Sidorska, cum laude. Jacob Neal Taylor. John Thomas Thornton. David Struthers Title. Alexis Mariah Tony, cum laude. Alexandra Phillips Trani, magna cum laude. Kalee Miranda Troutman. Caroline Stewart Tucker, cum laude. Kelly Renee Tucker, magna cum laude. Zachary Eugene Tuggle. 
Brenna Corinne Tull. Molly McClear Turner, cum laude. Abigail Claire Turpin, magna cum laude. Catherine Ray Tyerlick. Marsh Stanton Usury. Raven June Van Calker, magna cum laude. Sydney Ann Vandenberg. Nicholas James Valdo. Kelsey Lane Vickery. Tracy Lynn Walker, magna cum laude. Jessica Lane Wall. Megan Lily Ward. Kira Lindsay Ware, cum laude. Jacob Albert Warshower, summa cum laude. John Anthony Wysensi. Robin H. Wheeler. Eric James Whitecavage. Lawrence Christopher Wilkes. Alexander Imy Williams, magna, magna cum laude. Daniel Martin Wilson. Tiffany Danielle Wilson, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jessica Catherine Wolf. <laughs> Abigail Rose Yeager. <laughs> Stephanie Kaylin Yu. And finally, this year's Manly Wright Award recipient, Blanton Gillespie. Wow, what an honor. It's a, it is a tradition here at UNC Asheville for the chancellor to provide a charge to the class. And so therefore, in conclusion, I provide this urging charge to our class of 2019 graduates. You will leave this remarkable university ready to make your mark on the world as global citizens, as lifelong learners, as educated problem solvers, as change makers, and most important, as graduates and representatives of the University of North Carolina, Asheville. You will surely have an impact, and the world needs you. You will take your liberal arts and sciences education as Paula Kerger said today so eloquently, with you, wherever you go, putting your ambition into action, rising to meet the challenges, knowing that UNC Asheville is walking right along with you and will always be here for you. You have made it a point to chart your own course. You've made a difference at this university and now, as you become a global citizen, 
face the complicated world in which we all find ourselves because you have a place, an important place in it. You will continue, and some of you will be leaders of conversations that matter, and you will engage others in those discussions because you have learned that unique perspectives and backgrounds should be embraced and celebrated, even sought after. And you have learned that we all gain much when we embrace those different from ourselves. You will carry the vitality of this place with you, the work ethic you've gained here, our culture of fair play, honesty, and authenticity. You will go forth knowing what it means to keep others doing their best because you are doing your best. You will make your way in this world having learned that true achievement and hard work matters and that doing well by doing right adds value to your heart and your mind. You will make us proud. You already have. We are counting on each one of you to make this world a better place. Class of 2019, will you please stand up and please move your tassels to the left, signaling that you are graduates. By the virtue of authority invested in me by the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, the Board of Governors, and the great state of North Carolina, I proclaim you graduates of the University of North Carolina Asheville. present to you the class of 19 and the singing of the alma mater. Please join in and remain standing, and then allow the platform party to depart first. Claire Hoke will lead us in the alma mater. Thank you, Claire. Congratulations. <laughs> 